Today we're going to talk about workload assurance. Workload assurance is the module inside of TWS that allows you to monitor SLAs. On your screen you can see I have three SLAs and they're all late. They're all going to miss. Now, what is good about workload assurance? The first thing that I really like about workload assurance is you can select the critical path. What is the critical path? The critical path is the longest point from where you are to the end. And when I say the longest, it's longest by average runtime. This is done and is continuously updated. So you will always know what the current longest path is. You can see that I've got this job running. I can look at it, but you can also see the warnings. Hey, we went way beyond the, uh, the earliest start time and we're in trouble. Um, if I were to get rid of these four, I could actually change it from red to green, but it does give you warnings and information. If this server were to go down, it would say in here, servers down. If there was a problem with, you know, anything else, there's a resource, there's a whatever, there's an abended job, it would bring those up and tell you that there is a problem. If you are not beyond your latest start time, if you're not going to miss t your dates and times, you can actually click on the warning whether it be critical or um, potential. Potential is yellow, critical is red. You can click on them and it'll show you exactly what the issue is. The other thing that it provides for you here is you can see that this is the number of jobs left in the critical path. You can see that there's 51, 52, and 54. Each one of these jobs have over a thousand jobs prior to it. So that way I could show you how it works. This gives you an idea. The longest path from where we are to the end is 54 jobs. And as we move to the right, you can see that it also gives us, okay, there is four hours and 33 minutes left in this, and that is plus or minus 32 minutes. And it once again gets that information from average run times and says, hey, Sometimes the job runs longer, sometimes it runs shorter. We're within 32 minutes. We'll be done in 4 hours, 33 minutes, give or take 32 minutes. So you can give your um, customers an estimation saying, hey, we should be done in 4 hours and 33 minutes. The last thing that I wanted to show you here on workload assurance is you can also do all of your other stuff like job stream view and you can look at your job stream view and see what does my path look like visually and I can see here oh I can follow this back I can follow it back to this I can follow this back and keep going back as far as I want to to see where my running job's at, to see how I'm being held up, to figure out what is the end point of uh, what we're doing. As I said, there's a thousand jobs in here and it's 10 wide, so I have to go 10 by 10, so I need to go back, oops, go over just a few more here. And here we go. It should be the next one if I'm not mistaken. See this one and the next one. There it is. You can see that these three jobs are running. You can see that it, and it's giving you live updates. It's gonna show you things as they go through. So if you wanna see it visually, you can just come here and look at it visually. Um, once again, this is just a one way to go about looking at information that's out here. You can also do something that's called what-if analysis. We're late. What's happening? If 
I click on what if, it's going to show me all the jobs and all the jobs prior. And I'm going to be able to build a what if scenario based on this saying, okay, I can see that this is holding this up. It's holding this up. It's holding this up. Hey, what if we remove some of these uh, dependencies? What if I remove this dependency? And now, oh, didn't do much. What if I remove this dependency? You can see that things are starting to look better. What if I remove this dependency? I can see I have nearly everything cleaned up. I need to clean up just a little bit more up here and it could take off right away. This what if dependencies, if you clean it up and you have it to the point where you want to do it, you can click on apply changes and it will actually apply it to your current plan. What if analysis is very powerful in helping you resolve what's going on? If you have some reports, what if I remove this report? How does it look? Does it affect my end times at all? Am I going to be okay? As I said, you can see here that this is just running and you can see the jobs that are executing and you can figure out what everything is going on. I can look at job logs in here. And once again, it's all done through the automation hub, or not automation hub, workload assurance. So you have the ability to look at what's going on in workload assurance. Thank you very much. This is Leon. And that was workload assurance.